Hi guys, Jori from Sharp 11 Music. Today, the lick of the week will be actually a chord progression of the week because it's about the chord progression uh, from Chick Corea in the tune folk song. If you haven't checked out first the composition because it's so much of a beautiful song, I can't describe it. It's really one of my favorite compositions in terms of it has a beautiful melody that is like easy to remember but keeps flowing through the changes has some melodic variations and it's with Michael Brecker on saxophone, Eddie Gomez on bass and Steve Gadd on drums and the whole album it's on the three quartets it's called. That's really a life-changing album for many players that I know. So before we go into those voicings I like a lot and those chords just let me briefly tell you what I like about the complete solo because um, it's not the most technical difficult solo uh, for being Chikoria, I mean he is amazing in his abilities on the piano, but I just appreciate how melodic he always approaches every solo and that he really takes his time and keeps a lot of space in between the lines. That's something which really appears for me in, in his way of improvising and that's something I think not a lot of players possess so well as Chikoria does. I also remember the workshop I once had from Eric Mariental and where he said that he went playing with the Chikoria electric band they had to play a very difficult uh, solo change and he said hey Chick I really I really don't know what to play over this and then Chick apparently replied with why don't you think where to leave space and that's like the complete opposite way of approaching improvisation like like almost all of us do I guess. When I'm improvising I'm thinking of what can I play and not where can I leave space and how do I fill it up in between those spaces. So that was a very important lesson that still you know goes through my head every day. Um, so a very important lesson there. And you can hear that in Chick's playing. He is um, so melodic, he has melodic statements which he develops but he leaves a lot of space. The next time you listen to Chick Corea, listen for that space in his soul. Let's now go to the chords I love so much. So ta let's take a look at the voicing in his solo he uses there. First there was tension resolution in B flat, B flat being the tonic and now we do actually a kind of 2-5-1 to B major like the half step higher which is kind of the Coltrane moments notice trick. The right hand is an inversion of a A flat or G sharp however you want to turn it. Uh, Try it with the third in top. That's the melody you are hearing. The left hand seems to be a classic uh, 13 voicing, where you start with the seven, then third, and then the 13, that D sharp in this case, on an F sharp uh, seven on top. And that combined, whoa, listen to that sound. Why do I like it? The melody note is obviously a sharp 11, so that's probably why I like it. But I do it mostly the other way around. I first heard it and then it really appealed to me. And then I really feel the urge to know what is happening. And then in the end, it turns out to be a sharp 11 on a dominant chord. Mostly I like it on more on major sevens, but this is really cool as well. And then it resolutes to B major seven, also with a Nice voicing, it really opens, it's tension and release. But just the building up of those chords, it's a F sharp 7 13 chord with also a sharp 11, of course, but it's about how Chick structures those chords that even give it that extra edge. Also, something I noticed with other voicings of Chick is that he likes to put like a fourth interval at the bottom of uh, yeah his right or his left hand. In this case we have this A flat inversion, the second inversion where you start with this fourth E flat, A flat, which gives it a solid foundation uh, to thrive on. So that's at least how I view those chords and why I like it. I don't know if this is interesting for you. 
certainly when it's pianist listening to a saxophonist transcribing voicings where I obviously I'm not completely sure but I'm pretty sure like 90% I'm at least happy because when I play it now on the piano I think yes that's it you know so I learned a thing or two I hope you did as well and I hope to see you next time you can follow the channel and subscribe hit that subscribe button if you like this kind of content we are also on Instagram me Timothy and Charby Levin music as well stay tuned for many more cool transcriptions yeah and enjoy your new voices